Hello friends, I had a question regarding a previous tutorial on how do you export from Blender the character without the cone after sending it to walk on a path. I also show how to do it in 3D Studio Max. The link to the original tutorial will be found in the description below. So first we'll do it in Blender and it's very simple. So first you select the bones of the character, then go to editor type on the lower left and click nonlinear animation. Click down on the push down action button of the Mixamo character. You will see a new strip has been created. Now it's too short. So go to the active strip on the right and select the end to match the timeline length. In this case, 250 frames. This will bake the animation on export. On the scene collection on the upper right, click on the cone. This will reveal the character that was parented to the cone. Using the shift key, click the armature and everything underneath it. Now go to File Export FBX. and select Limit to Selected Objects Only. Click Armature and Mesh and scroll down to make sure Bake Animation is on. Hit Export FBX. Now if you open Blender again and import the FBX, you'll see that the character has the animation baked in with no cone. To move it in the scene, click Object Properties, then Delta Transform. That is how we do it in Blender. Now let's go to 3D Studio Max. To export a character after they walk on a path, all you have to do is hide the dummy object and path, then select the whole character and export as FBX. Now re-import it as FBX. Ignore the error messages. As you can see, it is walking the length and speed of the path. And if you group it by going on top to group, then group, you can place it anywhere in the scene. And that's it. That is how you export the characters that walk on a path from both Blender and 3D Studio Max. And if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.